Hello, Saggies. I missed you guys. I hope you're doing awesome. Happy Thanksgiving for those of you that will be celebrating with your loved ones tomorrow. I hope you have a beautiful time celebrating and getting some great food. I love to eat. I love great food. So, Saggies, you want a soulmate reading. You want to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. Uh, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, we're going to see what's going on. Um, first part of the video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Sagis. What you'll be dealing with facing, how to best handle it for your highest good. Second part of the video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whether you're currently in contact with them or not, we're going to ask what's going on with your soulmate. How they are relating to you at this time emotionally and what's on their mind. What they thinking, feeling in relation to you, Sagis, especially this upcoming week. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Sagittarius? What will Sagittarius be dealing with, facing, and how to best handle it for the highest good? Um, what is coming towards Sagittarius? How is Sagittarius doing on this soulmate journey? How is Sagittarius doing? Oh, one very strong extra message wants to come out. Sagis, let's see what's coming up for you. Wow, this is you not communicating with your soulmate. So you want to communicate with them, but you're not reaching out to them. You're waiting to see what they do. If they communicate, this is you holding back on communication. You love this person a lot. Yeah. Look at this, two of cups. So this is past life connection, but you guys are not communicating. And for those few of you that are communicating sporadically with this person here and there, it's just few words. You're not um, expressing uh, your emotions, your feelings, uh, plans for each other. So for most of you, there's absolutely silent treatment, no communication. Yeah, silent treatment, no communication. This is you feeling heartbroken, though, because of the way this is painted. It's four of swords, which usually represents silent treatments, no communication. But the way this is painted shows three of the swords behind your head. So this is you quiet, feeling heartbroken, disappointed, wanting to uh, rest, to do nothing right now you don't want to do anything even though you really want to hear from your soulmate you right now just feeling like you need a long time uh, to regroup yourself uh, you feel tired exhausted a lot of you are dealing with the cancerian also aquarius libra gemini scorpio pisces but this represents cancerian energy Hmm. Yeah, this is you. Very introspective, trying to figure out where this is heading. Very emotional. This is cups, emotions, feelings, trying to figure out what it is that this person feels for you. You wonder if they care for you still, if they love you, and if they do love you, how much do they care about you? Um, yeah, this is you. Uh, living your life though, you viewed here as independent, attractive, successful. This is you living your life. Ooh, communication showing up here. So there is going to be communication. Whether you reach out, they reach out, or you bump into each other, communication is showing up here. You're very guarded towards this person though. You are extremely guarded. You're showing up on top of Four of Swords as Queen of Swords, whether you're male or female. You're showing up here again with the sword pointing down. You see, pointing south. You are purposely not communicating. You feel very disappointed in them. Very disappointed in them. Heartbroken, sad. Yeah, this is you. Ooh, so you're showing up here as upset with this person. Yeah, they pissed you off. They upset you deeply. The devil showing up here. So you are quite disappointed. Um, mm -hmm. Heartbroken, disappointed. Universe, please show us what's coming towards 
Let's see. Let me see. Sagis. What is coming up for Sagittarius? What will Sagittarius be dealing with facing? Some of you are dealing with Capricorn. Scorpio very strongly. You still love this person. And it looks like they love you too, but you guys are not expressing it. Yeah, you're not expert. Yeah, you wish to hear from them. So this is you waiting for this person to show you uh, if they care about you or not. This is you waiting, waiting, wishing for communication from this person. Oh, look at this. This is, this person loves you in silence. This person loves you, but is not telling anybody, not telling you or anybody else that they still love you or love you, period. This person loves you quietly. Wow. So you've been waiting patiently. You've been waiting, waiting, waiting. And this person has been waiting on you. A lot of you are dealing with another Saji, Cancerian, Capricorn. Very strong Scorpio again showing up here. So there's not much action right now, but it looks like there will be communication. This is you hoping, wishing for communication. Uh, you are very disappointed in this connection though right now as it stands. Let's see what's going on here. This is the extra. This is you feeling like this person took you for granted, neglected you, rejected you, didn't appreciate you, didn't see your worth as a person. Let's see, universe, what's coming towards Sagittarius? What will Sagittarius be dealing with facing? This is you concentrating on yourself, your health, your happiness. Yeah. This is you concentrating on your work, your business, your health, your family. This is you ve viewing yourself as single in this relationship. So if someone were to ask you right now, if you are in a relationship with somebody, you would say, no, you're not in a relationship. You are single, independent, taking care of business. A lot of you Sagis are very successful business owners. And for those of you who work for somebody else, you bringing profit in, uh, your employers or bosses or directors or VPs are very happy with you as a worker. You bring profit in. This is you thinking, reminiscing about your soulmate. So you feel enormous connection with this person still very emotionally drawn to them. This is you thinking about them, thinking about the good times the two of you have had. This is also you um, gathering with your loved ones for something that will make you happy. So some kind of gathering showing up here with you and your loved ones. Um, yeah, some kind of uh, happy moments showing up here for you. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Sagittarius. The soulmate of Sagittarius. What is going on with the soulmate of Sagittarius? And how is the soulmate of Sagittarius currently relating to Sagittarius, especially emotionally? And what's on their mind? Oh, one extra wants to come out. Very strong background message. This person is waiting on you. Yeah, they're waiting on you. So this person is um, watching you. Look at this. They're watching you. They're waiting on you. Trying to figure out what you're thinking, feeling, what you're planning. Um... They're waiting on you to take action or communicate. They've been waiting. Mm -hmm. They're wishing, hoping for something to happen. So this person feels it's not over. Like, oh, they're hoping it's not over. That's why they're waiting. If they thought it was over or were hoping it was over, they wouldn't be waiting. So this person's waiting on you to do something. They're not sure where this is going. They have a lot of questions, no answers. They're kind of fearful of what may or may not happen. Um, this person has a lot of fear about this connection, a lot of fear from the past. So something 
happened that scared them in the past between the two of you that hurt them, wounded them emotionally, and they feel very guarded with their heart. Um, a lot of you are dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, this person is watching you. Yeah, they're watching you. So this person is keeping tabs on you. Be careful who you talk to uh, because there are some people that know them and you that are repeating information and some of those people are fake and sneaky. Uh, so be careful who you talk to uh, unless you don't care what your soulmate finds out. But some people uh, are miserable with their own lives and they're happy when they see other people join them in misery. So make sure that... Uh, if you want to discuss your personal matters with somebody about your soulmate relationship or anything else for that matter that you trust the person that you discuss it with because there are some people in your close surroundings that are uh, fake deceitful yeah uh, your intuition will tell you who they are <sighs> wow this person of yours your soulmate has people that are against you against this connection with you um but really it's nobody's business what the two of you do they don't know the soul connection that the two of you have so they really don't understand it because they're not in the connection themselves so it's really nobody's business uh, what the two of you do or don't do yeah it's nobody's business but this person has um People around them that are against this connection, maybe advising them to let you go. But this person listens to their own instincts, yeah, their own heart. Let's see, what is going on? This person is spying on you, though. Your soulmate is spying on you, keeping tabs on you, whether through videos like this, uh, mutual acquaintances, um, uh, any type of social media you may have. Universe, please show us what is going on with the soulmate of Sagittarius and how is the soulmate of Sagittarius towards Sagis? Yeah, they stopping themselves from communicating, expressing their plans, their feelings. They, they waiting to see if you do anything. They're quiet. Yeah, this is them being quiet, not communicating. This person is spiritual, though. They're very attracted to you. This person is very attracted to you. They view you to be very attractive, appealing, independent, courageous. You have people... Um, you have people interested in you, Sajis. Um... This person is very curious what you're thinking, what you're feeling. They're trying to figure out. They're not going to ask you, but they really want to know what it is that you're feeling, thinking, planning. You see, they don't know what to do. So this actually shows that even though they're waiting for you to take action, they really would like to take action if they would just feel sure about it. They're not sure what that right action is. Uh, they feel frozen, stuck, like at a crossroads, not able to make a decision on what to do next. Yeah. This person is patiently waiting. They've been waiting patiently for communication and they don't know what they need to do. This person is very guarded emotionally. Yeah, very guarded. It's like they're sad and guarded at the same time. But they also are happy that they met you for the experiences that the two of you have. Uh, you know, every relationship uh, has good and bad. There's no such thing as perfect relationship. Uh, but this person is trying to concentrate on positive things that have happened in this relationship. Um, hmm. <clears throat> this person has a lot of questions, no answers. They are confused. Uh, on what to do because they're not sure what you're feeling, what you're thinking. So both of you are hiding this from each other, uh, not expressing plans, 
universe, what is going on with the soulmate of Sagis? This person loves you a lot still, two of cups, a lot of love, and they would be willing to fight for you. They don't want to fight with you though, they want to fight for you. Yeah, they haven't released you. No, they have not. <clears throat> to be honest with you, this person really tried to release you more than once, numerous times. They tried to forget about you, not love you, not think of you, but it hasn't worked. And because they still love you, they are not releasing you, not letting you go. Yeah, this person loves you. They're wondering. They're trying to figure out what to do. Uh, they know they're going to have to do something because they still love you. <clears throat> yeah, this person is in a dilemma, but they have a lot of people uh, around them that uh, are willing to tell them what they should or shouldn't do. <clears throat> Ooh, look at this, three of swords. <clears throat> this person is heartbroken. Let me drink some water. <clears throat> look at this, three of swords, heartbreak. This person's heartbroken. Yeah, they're waiting on communication or... They know they're going to have to communicate eventually. This person is heartbroken. Look at this. This is very sad to them. Sagis, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current, true, long-term intentions and plans for you, especially this upcoming week. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit, on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it. Uh, at the end of the reading as well. So, Sagis, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there.